Hey everybody. Well, today is day three of the uh, ice storm. It's melting off, but we have high winds coming in tonight, so that should uh, bring down more limbs. I'll put a Monday through Thursday video together and post it of the progression of this what they call historical uh, ice storm because it's the first ever in October and the trees had not shed their leaves yet so it just created a disaster more than almost 400,000 people are without power right now and more expected to drop and that's significant because there's only 4 million people in the whole state and half the state was hit by this. So that's a large number of people and if you figure two people per household, double that number. So tonight I am making our home canned French onion soup. Oh, that smells so good. We're going to get that hot, and when that's hot, I'm going to use these Texas Toast Croutons, garlic and butter. You can make your own. I do have the bread to do that, but I just thought I'd show what you can do with what's in your pantry. And then I'm going to top it with some Gouda, whatever cheese you have, like the uh, canned cheese I've showed you before that you can purchase. That used to be pretty inexpensive per can. I can't say that it probably is now. I have freeze-dried cheeses that you put water on and you put them in the refrigerator and they rehydrate better for some reason that way. Um, I have my home can cheeses. So whatever cheese you want to use or you, if you don't have any cheese at all, you don't have to use cheese. And then I'm going to use this pumpernickel bread that I've had in the refrigerator. I need to do something with it. So I'm going to do a grilled cheese sandwich with that with Swiss cheese because I have a lot of these type of cheeses that I got at Aldi for a pretty good price. So do what you can with what you have on hand and stockpile a little extra every shopping trip if you can and put cheeses and things like that in the freezer now I'm not anticipating you know power outages but you never know so yeah we're gonna have a nice hot soup on a cold another cold winter night in a few days it's supposed to warm back up the husband tomorrow is going to be uh, chainsawing the mess. So I'll be back when we're at a boil and getting ready to plate this up. And I'm just going to make grilled cheese, butter the bread, put the cheese on it, and grill it in a skillet. And like if it was a power outage situation, you know, there's various ways you can cook this on your grill, camp stove. You can make a rocket stove out of number 10 cans and your vegetable cans. So, you know, a little fire in the fireplace and a cast iron, you know, we, we all figure it out, right? <laughs> so... I'll be back when this is hot. Hopefully we don't lose power. Okay guys, so we have our grilled cheese going. Swiss on pumpernickel. And here's our soup. And French onion soup is super cheap to make. And it's very good. 
and not a whole lot of ingredients. You don't need a whole lot of stuff. I do not put the alcohol in it because you really shouldn't can with alcohol. It can be dangerous in a pressure canner. Croutons on. Then the cheese. And then I'm going to put this on broil in the toaster oven. On the plate. Cut it in half. In half and two. So there's our sandwich. And we're waiting on our soup. So as soon as that's melty, I'll be back. So there we go. There's our home canned French onion soup, croutons, cheese, grilled cheese sandwich. Just work with what you have in your pantry. You can buy store-bought. You could make that soup up real quick with onions, some beef broth or beef bouillon that you have on hand, some garlic. So if you have any questions, my mouth's watering. If you have any questions, let me know. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Um, I do have some canning projects I want to do, but we need to get the uh, ice situation handled. We have a lot of work cut out for us. So I'll be showing you what I'm cooking during this little winter snapperoo. So I appreciate you all for subscribing. The new people, welcome. And I will see you next time. Bye.